Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at the new character, Hero 32, Echo. So, Echo is a DPS hero, who has uh, her shift ability, as you can see, makes her rise in the air. Holding space will, of course, make you rise more. Holding crouch will help you fall. Um, and uh, she has a glide ability, where if you hold space, you can glide. It's kind of like, basically, Mercy's, except a little bit worse. Her primary fire is like a long-range shotgun, except it doesn't separate. It has 15 shots, and so you, you can actually use it at surprisingly decent range. Uh, of course, it's not that good uh, at long ranges, but it's also not that bad, <laughs> as you can t tell. Her secondary fire is just like in the cutscene we saw. She fires out a bunch of orbs, and they explode after a certain amount of time. And it has a fairly good amount of AoE, so you can shoot it like there. And as you can see, it <laughs> got both of them. Her E ability, let me go over here to give you a better look at her E. Uh, what it does is that uh, it fires out a beam, and on full health heroes, it doesn't, it's not that good. On lower health heroes, it's amazing. So basically, don't use it on full health heroes, use it on uh, low health heroes. Uh, cause on full health heroes, it's like an uncharged zone, which is just full crap. <laughs> it's just used to finish, uh, characters off. Her, uh, ultimate ability is the best thing I've ever seen. As you can, as you probably were wondering about this, um, this is to help you use, uh, specifically use, uh, Echo's ultimate. Uh, so, I'm gonna show you with Tracer. What you do is you go find, uh, enemy, enemy team, enemy team member character whatever and you use your ultimate on and you become them and you can do whatever they can do and as you can see you get their ult a lot faster <laughs> and uh as someone with someone like tracer you can get their ult like five times over and so it's honestly in my opinion it's kind of op <laughs> i mean did you did you see that that was <laughs> what is this it's so strong I don't know if she's going to be nerfed right off the bat. I don't think she will be. Uh, but if they do nerf her, I wouldn't be surprised. Also, it seems like that... Hold on, I need to check something. Um, uh, of course, obviously, you can you see that if you use that on yourself, you get hurt. But I'm wondering, if you get your ultimate, does it heal you? Because uh, if I choose someone like Hanzo, will I have 110 health or will I have 200 health? Oh, it does heal you. But as you can see with someone like Hanzo, this is incredibly strong because you can just use it over and over. I mean, that's incredibly powerful. Incredibly powerful. She has a lot of movement, so she has high escape uh, potential and high dive potential. She can obliterate just about anyone. Her ultimate is extremely powerful, and it's highly versatile since you can be any character for a few seconds. Uh, she has a good amount of AoE. It's, it seems like it's going to be another Sigma thing, where she's going to be too well versatile and just so good at everything that they're going to have to nerf her to the ground to make her even available to be a character. Uh, so, I don't know what they're going to try to do to make her a normal character, a normal balanced character, but I'd like to see them try. But I'll see you guys when she's out in the live game. So, see ya!